Uh, it's such a delight and privilege to talk to you, um, Kumuda. Thank you, Vinod, for inviting me for this interview. Yeah. And, and Kumuda, you uh, here at India Vision Institute, you lead um, one of the most you know exciting programs that we have. Could you talk a little bit about that program and what your role in that program is? Yeah. I'm uh, extremely happy to be part of IVI because it makes a huge difference in um, uh, most of the underprivileged community by providing eye care access and I'm happy to be part of it. Yeah. And, and in terms of um, you know what you do, I mean how many people has that program reached uh, so far across India? So far, IVA has screened about 450,000 screenings. Uh, among, uh, among that, uh, 285,000 are children and 150,000 adults. So we work uh, in about 22 states across India, starting from Mizoram, uh, Rajasthan, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, and uh, to deep south. Yeah. And, and that's great. I mean, it, it sounds very exciting. Now, you have done many firsts in life, right? You're probably the first girl who's come from a village to study in Chennai, do optometry. But I also understand you, you're probably the first in your extended family who wears spectacles. Can you talk a little bit about both? Uh, yes. Uh, I'm the first girl who left home to study optometry in Chennai. And as you said, yes, I'm the only girl or first girl who wears glasses constantly because uh, in my extended family a lot of girls uh, who need who need to wear glasses but they're not wearing because uh, there's a taboo uh, among them among their parents also uh, girls especially young girls wearing spectacles they think uh, it might delay their uh, marriages and their parents also not allow allowing them to wear glasses because of this issue Thing, right and you think it's it's quite widespread in many rural communities this particular issue yes there are uh, many women and especially girls oh, right, uh, right they have their uh, they have yeah. this taboo well oh, yeah and then so this taboo alone basically means that there'll be a lot of young girls who probably you know can't study well because their eye, they haven't had an eye their eyes tested and in the process it's not uh, th them not being able to see well but also study well and, and, and that's quite unfortunate, isn't it? Yeah, yeah definitely, yes. Um, uh, even in the school screening, uh, a lot of uh, girl children we screen. Mm -hmm. So they couldn't able to uh, finish their schoolings because of this issue. Yeah, I mean, uh, what you say, it's, it's extremely unfortunate uh, for uh, girl children because um, there'll be a substantial percentage of children who probably, you know, if they don't have glasses, no, they can't see the board, they can't study. Uh, is that true? Yes, this is unfortunate. Um, uh, in uh, When we go for school screening, uh, usually 7 to 8 percentage of children who need glasses, who need to wear glasses, these 7 to 8 percentage children would not be able to finish their studies because of this issue, this taboo. Taboo, yeah. yeah. Um, one, one final question. You know, you worked, you know, across the country in you know in so many interior uh, parts of the country and i do understand from you that awareness and access you know are two significant issues what prevents people from from you know getting a pair of spectacles um now um that, is that is that true and additionally for women what are the other impediments yes uh, you're right uh, lack of awareness and access, access only mainly because of uh, uh, human resource. These are the two uh, major issues uh, to take up the access, I mean, uh, eye care access. In addition to that, women and young girls uh, often don't take uh, uh, health care services they need because they need, they are not independent and they need someone uh, within their family to uh, take them to the hospital and uh, do the needful. And, and also, I mean, like what you were mentioning before, they are also not financially independent in many situations. Yes, yes, they are not financially independent in some rural yeah, so they need both the physical support and the financial yes, independence. Yes. Yeah. So an excellent uh, work, uh, you know, you're doing and that's an excellent program. Thank you for spending time. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir.